It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're getting set for an NFC North matchup as we join you from Soldier Field. Well, Phil, we've got a terrific matchup at running back. Two of the most dangerous backs in the NFL about to meet, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How do you see it? Well, you know what? It's not always about the quarterback when you talk about NFL games, and, and here's a great example of it today. Uh, the game of football is still about the most physical team wins, and when you have running backs like this, the more physical team will win. This game has officially begun. Gets out past the 30, brought down near the 35. The Lions step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. First down at the 35. Stafford over to Johnson. Calvin Johnson might be the best in the league at his position. One of the few in the NFL, tall, rangy, tough, can break tackles, make all the contested catches. This is what you want in a number one wide receiver. Second down. Bell lined up as the single back. Bell's hand at the football. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Phil must keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. The Lions go with two tight ends on this play. Bell is in the backfield. First down at the 46. Bell up the middle. One player to keep an eye on today is Pernell McPhee. Yeah, what I like about him is Jimmy can play about four different positions on the field. Outside, inside, he can do whatever you want on the defensive side. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. But they can't connect. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. This is third down. A lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds, trying to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Bears come out with a split backfield. The Bears take it from the 23. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. 
player to keep an eye on today, Martellus Bennett. Yeah, he has matured into one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Big, fast, can push you around, and what a pair of hands. Coming up. Double tight end formation. Bennett has the catch. Fights off the hit. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Now look at all these great tight ends in the NFL now. Makes me think of the NBA. These are power forwards who said to heck with that. They want to be pass catchers, and they're good at it. First down, offense ready for the snap. gets it here gets about four yards that time Stephen Tullock is one of the leaders of this defensive unit yeah he absolutely is one of the leaders tells everybody what to do and he is one tough guy inside and you can never get enough toughness when you talk about defense in the NFL and it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down the catch that's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field these are not easy throws for the quarterback but he sticks it right on him for the completion inside the 50 through the first Matt Forte wins there that time for the tackle nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run and the defense being too aggressive they're over pursuing so you do the little counter go the opposite direction and it works well second and four following the run The Bears at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Dropping back three. DeAndre Levy with the sack. Nice job that time, but the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. This next play coming from the 47-yard line. The Lions' defense now is going to go nickel. Third down and 11. White's going to pull in the bullet pass. Set up now at the 36. Forte lines up as the single back here. The handoff to Matt Forte. Jones all over that offense and brings him down. The Bears offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. 
Third down at 13. White's got it on a pass that had some heat. <laughs> the Bears lining up now for this field goal attempt. The kick is through for three. Nearing the end of the first quarter, and the three points on the board puts them ahead. Got to feel good about that drive. That was nice. Uh, of course, it didn't lead to a touchdown, but it was good enough to get you three points. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Lions bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. First down at the 25. And now here's the toss. Lions running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Loss of three on the play. The Lions from the 22. Bell's out there to receive the screen pass. Picks up eight here. The Lions understand just get whatever yards you can every time you run a play. That's what they do that time. It's a short completion, but look what position it puts them here. In on third down, this is something they can handle. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Call on the punting team. Royals got a chance this time. And a run back of about nine. The Bears put some points on the board on their previous possession, but it was just a field goal. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Yeah, they will. And, you know, listen, you know, when you talk about touchdown drive, you have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. they got to do better in that situation. If they do, that's going to lead to seven points. The Bears line up. Been a tight first half. The score's three to zero. Cutler's lined up. Two tight ends set. First down at the 37. Kevin White calls it in. That's his fourth catch of the day. Good job by the receiver running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. Pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Taking off. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. Forte is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down coming up. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. He'll throw it over the middle. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. 
That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Second down now. Fortes taking the handoff. Tackle made by Levy that time. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Breaking huddle at the 21. Set up screen to Forte. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short. Defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong. But good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. He'll have a chance to take off. He gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Lions offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Jeremiah Ratliff chases him down. Oh, there's nothing worse as a quarterback to have pressure up the middle from an interior defensive tackle. Uh, hard to see down the field, can't make a decision, and that time it leads to a sack. Matthew Stafford will be under center. Will go ground. Bell right side. Gains about three. Bell is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. Third down on the way. The Lions line up, split backfield. The defensive line is now all spreading out. Stafford's going to take it from the gun. It's intercepted! And not only does their defense protect the lead, they force the interception and give their offense a chance to increase the advantage before halftime. Good job by the defense. You know what they did? They just put more self-doubt into the opponent's offense. They're going to have a hard time snapping out of this today. Coming to the line at the 43. Forte lines up as the single back here. Matt Forte gets it here. Tackle made by Levy that time. Forte is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Has the grab. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. All right, here we go. It's caught by Kevin White. 
Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. We're beginning to see this team assert their dominance in this game midway through the second, although this time it's just the field goal. Still, it opens up a lead. I'm looking at the team that's losing right now. When are they going to stand up and just say, I've had enough, and go out there and start fighting? That return's good for about 21. The Lions just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches look. You you make mistakes on the field. They're going to get. They're going to be forgiving to a point, but you got to be smart. You got to be efficient and get the job done. The Lions have it at the 24. Houston's the one who made the big stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 13. Set up screen to Bell. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. First down at the 35. That's dropped by Tate, who couldn't bring it in. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, the football falls incomplete. Bell is in the backfield. the Lions will take the snap from the 35. And a nice catch by Calvin Johnson. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Stafford's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Third and five. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, that's a nice job by the defender knocking that football down on third down. That's what you want to do as a defense. Of course, you want to get off the field. Every time an offense completes a third down pass, their chances of getting a score on that drive go up big time. So getting off the field is great. Nice job by the defender. And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 19. Almost intercepted that time. Second and ten coming up. Hello, 
Second and ten. It's Bennett. And a gain of four. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. It's third down coming up. The Bears will look to get to the 29 to pick up a first. Forte's got it on the screen. Well, it's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Cutler's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Two tight ends on the field here. First down at the 33. Throws the pass. And it's batted down. Now they'll try over again on second down. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Going for the home run. This is a tough situation for the offense, third and long coming up, but it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game. So there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. Third and ten coming up. Halfback sent in motion. The Bears take it from the 33. Jay Cutler with the deep ball. And it falls incomplete. Bennett's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. Tate's going to take this one from the 20. That's a gain of 10. The Lions stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. The Lions have it at the 29. Bell right side. Not only does he know the situation, when you have the football in your hands, you want to get out of bounds to stop the clock, but I'm sure the quarterback in the huddle, before he called the play, said, look, if you get a chance, get out of bounds. The chance was there. Big mistake. And with the second quarter coming to a close, we'll step away for halftime and return to the Windy City for the start of the second half after this. The second half is officially underway. And he'll start his return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Bears take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be. But feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. First down at the 29. They're going to run it on the toss. Jones able to read that play and make the hit. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it.
The Bears from the 27. Martellus Bennett with the reception. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That's a great feeling. Cutler's completion percentage, 60% on the day. First and ten. He's got the catch. And he is tackled at the 44. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Second and seven on the way. The Bears have it at the 44. Matt Forte. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Bears offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Third down. The Bears have to get to the 49 for a first from the gun. White's got the catch and the first. First down here. Zebra. Zebra. Cutler comes out of the pistol. The handoff to Matt Forte. Gets about nine on the play. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Play number six coming up on this drive. Forte lines up as the single back here. Back to him. Forte's brought down after picking up just a yard. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. At the 33. They bring in the extra tight end. He's going to get another carry. Forte is a great money back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. They come to the line, and it's first down. running down takes it again Forte looking out wide wins the one who brings him to the ground always good to have these types of runs yeah it's not a first down but it sends a message it shows everybody that you can run it when you want to and also it opens up so many other things for your offense Second down coming up. Back to the ground. Tackle made by Levy that time. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the block very well and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's that's nice. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. 
First down at the 18. They call his number once more. And picks up maybe three or four. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. What a drive this has been. Zebra. Zebra. It's a two tight end formation. Zebra. Second down and six. And now here's Forte on the toss. And he's brought to the ground. Play number 12 coming up for the offense. Rodgers lined up in the backfield. The Bears will use a timeout here early in the second half. Third and six coming up. Forte lines up as the single back here. The Bears break cuddle and show a jumbo look. Third and six. Matt Forte gets it here. Should be an easy one here. The kick is good. Their lead a little more secure now, thanks to the kicker. And with the fourth quarter upon us, Phil, they've got to be feeling pretty good about things. Oh, I think they are. That field goal just gave them an emotional lift. And everything they've done all day has been positive. And, boy, they're going to be tough to beat. Stafford will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. The Lions offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide of this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. First down at the 20. Bell's got it on the handle. Brought down at the 26. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. Bells really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Stafford going to take off with it. The Lions have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. to Johnson third catch today so far I like this show some patience don't try to get it all one play pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score first down here <laughs> 
Stafford with the give. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage and a loss of one. Second down coming up. Stafford from the gun. To the outside. The catch is made. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Stafford's completion percentage, 50% on the day. First down and 10. Looking to go deep. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. That's an important touchdown for this resilient bunch that just never quits, never believes it's out of a game, Phil. That's what it takes, Jim. In situations like this, you just have to be tougher than your opponent, and that's what they showed there. Getting that touchdown, now we are going to have a contest down here in the fourth quarter. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Royals got it. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Fortes lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Throw it to the outside, and they've got the hookup. The Bears have had a big number one option at wide out today. White's done everything asked of him today, Phil. Well, this league is loaded with really tremendous wide receivers, and we are watching one of the best. He can do everything with the football. On the way, third down. From the shotgun. Kevin White with the catch. White's tackled down at the 45. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game, just move the chains. And that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Screen pass to Jeffrey. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. And here we have second down. Well, it's do or die right now, and you've got to go ahead and make the call to give your offense a chance to get this first down. And I know this team, they have a lot at their disposal. I think there's a play in there that's going to give them a good chance. Looking at third down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Bennett's got it, and a first. That's reception number four for him. 
What we're seeing so many times now in this league is the tight ends are getting so good that they have to condense the pass coverage to make sure they stop them, and it's opening up the wide receivers to have a better chance to catch the football. Play number six coming up on this drive. First down following the long play. Matt Forte. He is in for the touchdown. And with so little time left in this game, that touchdown may have sealed the deal. It's it. The party is officially over. And what a job. The offense just put an exclamation point on that game. They've been terrific all day long, and they deserve the win. They're setting up the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. down at the 24 can't find space and this will be a loss of one on the play good job by the defense they stopped the offense that time on first down now the defense is in a good situation double tight end formation The Lions take it from the 23. This is a tough situation to be in. It's third and long, and I'll say this to the coach and the quarterback. Don't take a chance. If it's covered down the field, throw it short. Third down now. Stafford from the shotgun. The Lions now move the chains. That's reception number two for him. My gosh, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. This play set up by the long gainer. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. It's second down now, right around three minutes remaining in the game. Second down and ten. Bell with the reception. The Lions do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them. Third and short. It'll be third down. They'll run it here. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Play number six coming up on this drive. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Play number six coming up on this drive. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First and ten. He's 
easy catch there. No one near him. Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Stafford's got it in the gun. And Pettigrew's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. First and goal to go. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Clearly, they're not ready to give up the fight just yet, but that touchdown may have come just a little bit too late. Well, you know, Jim, it's never too late in the NFL. I mean, listen, I remember one time we had a lead late against the San Francisco 49ers. I thought the game was over, and you know what happens. Hey, Joe Montana to Jerry Rice. That's right. I still can remember. He throws a long touchdown to win the game, so you got to hang in there and fight to the end. The Lions now getting ready to kick it away. Got it. Lewis there to make the stop. That returns good for about 27. The Bears offense getting ready to start this drive, and things are looking good for them at this stage of the game, partner. Yeah, this is where it gets tough, though, Jim. they got to find a way, make the right play call to get one first down. If you do that, that puts the other team in a very tough situation. The Bears have been in a fight today. The score's 19 to 14. The Bears come to the line with a bunch set. Forte up the middle. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. The Lions stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. Second down here after that run play. Forte lines up as the single back here. Just a quick drop back. Makes the catch in the open field. That was a good call by the offensive coach that time. They needed one first down to win this game to seal things up. He makes the right call, and they get a big first down. The line of scrimmage, the 43-yard line. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Forte looking for space. Gains 11. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. Just run the football. Don't try to be some genius who catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. Cutler is lined up. Two tight ends set. First down at the 32. For a gain of about five. Jim, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You've got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well. And just keep running it. It's now second down. Here we go. Wide and yank. Wide and yank. Takes the knee.
Is every win sweet, or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition and you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim. For Bill Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.